a falsified dossier to pave the way for an execution. The evening had fallen. <laughs> Kian Perfilak, accompanied by his father, mother and younger brother, was on the way home when suddenly their vehicle was surrounded by the Iranian regime's operatives who began shooting at the family car. Kian was immediately killed, and his father remained hospitalized for months. At the time, a member of the Iranian regime's parliament said that following the gunfire at the family car, those responsible had transported Kian and his father to the Red Crescent building, known for housing the paramilitary Basij and the suppressive forces personnel. But the regime refused to acknowledge the involvement of its agents in Kian's death. Instead, they constructed a narrative placing the blame for Kian's murder on a young man by the name of Mojahed Kirkuri in the town of Iza, southwest of Iran. Mojahed and his friends had participated in the nationwide uprisings of 2022. His relentless activism for human rights and freedom prompted the regime to seek his arrest and execution by any means. They resorted to fabricating a dossier, accusing him of murder. On the 20th of December 2022, the regime's armed agents attacked the house of Mojahed using gunfire and detonations, resulting in the deaths of two of his friends. Two others in the house, including Mojahed himself, sustained severe injuries. They were abducted by the suppressive forces. On the 6th of April 2023, the judiciary of the Iranian regime announced the death sentence for Mojahed for waging war against God and the murder of Kian. These falsified charges and sentence were issued by the so-called Revolutionary Court in the town of Iza. However, Kian's parents in Iza consistently dismissed this narrative as a fabrication denying its validity. After Mojahed's abduction, his family made several trips to the southwestern city of Awaz, hoping to find any traces of their son. Mojahed Kirkuri has communicated with his family only briefly, two or three times. His voice clearly indicating his deteriorating health and the enduring of torture. He is held in one of the solitary cells at Sheban Prison in the city of Ahwaz, with no ability to make phone calls or meeting his family. <laughs>